Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to do some things with Google Drive, namely installation of the desktop application, how to add and remove things from Google Drive, how to share those things that you add with someone else that you know, also how to accept a share from somebody for their files, and how to add a file to a shared folder. So let's get started. Say you've got a couple awesome photos that you want to share with a buddy of yours, but you want to do it over the internet. And you want to be able to make changes in tandem with this buddy and add folders and add pictures and files to the folder that you share between the two of you. Easy, right? Yes. So we're going to go to the internet. We're going to go to drive.google.com. There we go. And you're have to make an account with Google. Most people have a Gmail account somewhere floating around, so you can just use that. So you see here, drive. But wait, we don't want to use the online Google Drive. We want to use it on our computer so we're gonna go down to the very bottom here to get drive for PC now if you're on a Mac it will say get drive for Mac use the same process on both so we're just gonna click the button and then hit download for PC the nice big blue button in the middle of the screen and then read the Google terms of service make sure that you agree with everything that they say and then hit accept and install now we'll see at the very bottom here we have Google Drive sync exe we're gonna click it and then hit yes we do want to install this on our computer and we'll go ahead and install it now I can close out both of these guys installation should complete alright didn't even have time to close them out until, until it was done so then you get this window popping up meet Google Drive for your computer this will give you a nice little overview of how to use some basic things but first signing in so we'll add in my username password all right, and this will just say you can add files and folders to your computer. We're going to go ahead and do all of that ourselves. Uh, so you also have a Google Play app and an App Store app for iPod, uh, iPhone and Android. So you can get that on your phone so you can browse on the go. And even add photos from your phone on the go as well. So now we have Google Drive. This window automatically pops up when you install it. And you can see we just have our getting started PDF in there. We want to share these files though, right? So we're just going to drag the entire folder over into the Google Drive folder. And you can see this little blue icon right here as well. That means that it is currently in the process of syncing. Now when that's finished, that's going to show the green check mark like this getting started, which means this document is on your computer and on Google Drive at the same time. If you're ever curious about the progress, down at the very far bottom right corner or top right corner if you're on the Mac, you'll see the Google Drive icon. If you click there, it'll show you what is currently in the process of being synced and how much space you have left, as well as give the option to give yourself more space. Right now we can see my sync was complete. We've got the green check mark on both. Now it's time to actually share this with my buddy. So to share it, you can either do it through the web interface or you can just go to the Google Drive and just right click on the folder Go to Google Drive and then Share. Now on the Mac, you'll just see here that says Google Drive, or it'll let's just say Share on Google Drive. Just click that button. And then from there on out, it's the same process. So we'll hit Share. And then we'll type the email address in of the person we want to share it with. I'm just going to paste it in because, so I don't mistype it. But uh, now we can set whether this person can just view or edit. Because we want this person to be able to add folders and add pictures and files to this folder as well, we want them to be able to edit. You can give them a little note. Here you go and then send it away. So now, on my buddy's computer, he'll get an email that says, hey, so-and-so has sent a file for you to share. So let's drop over to my buddy's computer here. There we go. We'll have to go check some email. So we'll go in and we'll Gmail. Okay, we see the one lone email in here is a share from me via Google Drive. So we can click that up. It says, here you go. We'll open it up. So from here, we're going to get a preview of what's actually in the folder and the files that have been shared, but we're not quite done yet. So up at the very top right, you'll see Add to Drive. We're going to click that because we want to add it to our own Google Drive. So you can see now Photos has been added to Google Drive. We're going to close this out entirely. Now, on this guy, he already had the Google Drive desktop app because he had you know followed the earlier part. But what's this? Photos, it's our, it's in there because I added it to Drive. You can actually see the little blue person kind of hiding behind the check mark here. That means it's a shared folder. But if I open it up, you can see it's got all of the images that I had over on my buddy, my computer on this side. So we can switch back over again. But now I want to add something to it. So I've got this, I don't know, this random bitmap image, random image. 
I want to show this to my buddy and I want to have it be in our collaborative folder. So I'm going to just click drag this and just move it into photos so we can see our little sync icon here. And in a second, it's going to turn to a green check mark, which means that that has been synced properly. So we'll switch back over to buddy's computer. Oh, look, there it is. So it automatically went to my other com to the other account for Google Drive. So that'd be how you would add a file to Google Drive so that both parties can see it. Now, say he's like, this is a terrible image. Delete. Get out of my share. So we'll switch back over to my buddy's computer here, and you can see it's gone over there too. So whenever you make any changes to that shared folder, it will reflect those changes along everyone's computer. So you delete a file, it deletes it everywhere. You change the name of a file, it changes the name everywhere. You add a file, it adds it everywhere. So it's really helpful and a powerful tool for collaborating with people on various projects, whether it be with pictures, documents, spreadsheets, anything along those lines. It's quite fantastic. So there you go. That is an, a brief overview of how you use Google Drive to share and collaborate with your friends and or your enemies. <laughs> Have a great day, guys.